Hey, how are you? I'm going to show you how to make this off the shoulder dress. Begin by cropping the panel pieces by making notches on all of them. Make guidelines where those notches are made. I'm using a washable marker to make these lines. For the body panel, I'm making these lines on the right side. And for the sleeve, I'm making these lines on the wrong side. Measure the elastic around your shoulder and arms. Measure the elastic a bit loose in the arms than you normally would do. I'm going to make the bias tape first. Fold both sides to the center with the iron. Now pin the bias tape onto the wrong side of the sleeve where the guy line is. Do the same for the other sleeve panel, then sew along the edge on both sides. Insert the elastic in the casing with a safety pin attached onto one end. If the elastic is almost gone, feed the elastic slowly. You don't want to do this part again. When the elastic is completely gone, secure the end with a safety pin. Then continue with the process. Sew the elastic into place with a straight stitch. Go back and forward a couple times. I added extra pins in the elastic just to make sure that the elastic doesn't slip away while I'm doing this. Search the bottom of the sleeve. After that, fold the sleeve in half. Sew it down with a straight stitch and follow it up with a overlock stitch or a zigzag stitch. Him the sleeve. Does it make you worry now? For now, we are done with the sleeve, so I'll leave it aside. For the body panel, close the sides with a straight stitch on both sides. Right sides hugging, then switch the side seam allowance. We'll see you in shadows on the Press the seams open for the sleeve and body panel. Attach the sleeve onto the body panel with right sides hugging and pin it into place. Make sure to match the stitch line of the body and sleeve together. So double check that before you sew the two pieces. Now search the seam allowance and the top edge all the way around. Pin the dress with a single or a double fold. Now 
sew the end of the remaining elastic together. I do not recommend to overlap the elastic like I did here. You will find out why I did it anyways because it was easier at the time. Fold where the top guy line is. Do this all the way around. You can use pins like I did or you can iron or you can do both. Once you're done, sew along the upper guy line, the one that is closest to the fold. Here is a closer view what I did. Now finish the casing by inserting the elastic and closing the casing at the same time with a straight stitch. While you're sewing, try to push the elastic towards the other stitch line. I stitch into the elastic where the ends overlap. This is what I get for not carrying. Luckily for me, it was at the beginning. So if you're going to do this method, do not overlap the ends of the elastic. So basically what you do is you pull the elastic and you sew by following the guideline. This method is tricky and it also took me longer to do but I do like it. I had to redo a small part because I messed up. You can do the other method what I normally do so the choice is up to you. If you have questions leave it in the comments. You can find the pattern in the description. Like and share the video if you feel like it. That's all and I will see you in the next video. Okay bye.